I win. She won. Meet Carlton Flowers. He's a family man who loves to keep himself busy with plenty of jobs and hobbies. He's extremely active in the Jefferson City community. He's also a self-proclaimed technology addict. My life. You know, I use the cell phone. I want to get a Galaxy Note 3 so I can take a picture of a Mustang, take the stylus out, and then draw on the color and the design that I want to possibly use to make that car. And so I'm using technology with like every aspect of my life to make myself more efficient. So Enter the man cave. For some men, this might be a place to kick back and watch sports. Carlton's man cave is full of computers, cameras, and just about every gadget you can think of. He even has a green screen set up where he shoots his very own YouTube videos. Now Carlton Flowers is so addicted to technology, we're interested to see what was gonna happen if we take it all away. On a typical Saturday morning, Carlton and a few workout buddies meet up at the local gym. Today was just a little bit challenging since he couldn't use his phone to coordinate. Nothing happened except for me oversleeping because I thought, well, nobody's going to show up the right time, so I might as well just sleep in, get that extra hour of sleep, and then just go to the class that starts at 10 o'clock because I know that's going to happen. After Zumba, Carlton heads home to check in with the family and get ready for his day. And I'm back to like it was in the 70s. I'm in this truck, this is my dad's truck, the radio doesn't work. I can't use my cell phone and my headphones because we're not doing that today. <laughs> and so all the way out to the truck, you know, I pat my pocket instinctively looking for my cell phone and it's not there. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not doing that. And it's unconscious. So actually, we're gonna go to the shop and run by the bank, but I'm gonna leave the phone here <gasps> on the table. Without a smartphone, even the simplest errands present a problem. Uh, we're going to the drive-thru and finding out that the bank's not open <laughs> because I couldn't check my cell phone or call to see if the drive-thru lobby was open past 12 o'clock and it's not. So that that's good. That's it. That's all right. <laughs> Let's just cruise right on. <laughs> After checking in at the shop, Carlton heads home oh, for some family time. <laughs> so doing this is having the same effect on my body as going on vacation. Because <laughs> now I'm not jumping and grabbing for the cell phone as much at every turn. I mean, it's, it's starting to feel a little bit more natural. And I almost don't want to hear those bleeps and alerts go off because that means that somebody's needing something or whatever. So I like it. Ryan Rumba, KRCG 13 News, Jefferson City.